What is up you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. And today's video is going to have massive spoilers for Marvel's What If. So if you haven't seen the latest episode or the episode you clicked on this video for, be sure to turn away and come back after you've seen it. In Party Thor was one of the more fun What If episodes, so I'm really excited to show you how to build the characters from this episode. If you're new here, be sure to hit like and subscribe. I do Lego content just about every day here on the channel. And what we're doing today is showing you how to build every character from this new episode using 100% official Lego parts and pieces. So with that being said, let's dive in and get started. So the episode starts out with Darcy and Jane out in their van, just like the beginning of Thor, or pretty similar to it. So I really used a mixed match of parts for these characters. Now, one thing that will be true for this whole showcase is I tried to get as close as I could, but I feel like some of these are not as strong as others. So if you have any suggestions on what you would build, drop a comment down below throughout the video and let me know. With that being said, I used the face and legs from Hermione from the Lego Harry Potter collectible minifigure series to start off Darcy over here. I used some dark brown long female hair for her and light brown for Jane because they actually do have different hair colors in the episode. Then of course this torso comes from the Harry Potter collectible minifigure series too, but truth be told I've only seen the first three Harry Potters and it's been a while since I've seen the third one so I'm not sure what the character's name is. Somebody can drop a comment and let me know. With that being said, hopping over to Jane like I said some lighter brown hair, the face from Padme from Lego Star Wars. Of course, it's perfect since it is Natalie Portman. Then moving down, I used the torso from Lily Potter from Lego Harry Potter Collectible Minifigure Series 2. Then I used some jeans on there just to add a little extra detail. Up next, we have How to Build Party Thor, and yesterday, I actually used the torso from Infinity War Thor, but you guys all said that you wanted to see it with the uh, torso shown here, which of course is the Outrider from Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. So once you get that Outrider torso, I put some tan arms on both sides. I put black handcuffs on him, but I used uh, scissors to cut the chain out so that they're more gauntlets than handcuffs. I gave him some butterbeer from the Lego Harry Potter collectible minifigure series and his hammer of course because he is Thor then the legs come from the Imperial Gunner from Lego Star Wars the face is from the doctor from Doctor Who and the hair is from old man Luke Skywalker up next we have Lady Sif in the Warriors 3 now this is a still image from my Loki series showcase and honestly, guys, I put these videos together inside of 24 hours every time a What If episode comes out, and I just don't have the time to put together these customs the way I think they need to be made, so I apologize. Hopefully, I can get around and maybe just do a Warriors 3 video someday. I've just never gotten to do the perfect design, and I'd rather not, you know, give you something halfway. I'd rather give you a great custom than fake it, so yeah, we'll save that for another day. Back to your regularly scheduled content, we've got the Queen Frigga here. So I used the hair and head from Old Lady uh, Princess Leia from, of course, Star Wars. Then the torso and legs come from Vicky Vale from the Lego 1989 Batmobile. Then I just put some, like, kind of off tan arms there and then tan hands to match there. And it really pulled the figure together pretty well, I think. Up next, we have Scourge, and I have a funny story for Scourge. So I have this figure on my minifigure wall where I display all my figures, and the other day I almost tore this apart and put the pieces back in my bin thinking, eh, Scourge is never going to show up in the MCU again, and then he did the same week. It's absolutely crazy. The head comes from General Zod from Lego Man of Steel. Then this shoulder piece here is from Nexo Knights, a theme from a couple years back now. Then I put some dark red arms with black hands on there. I gave him this little weapon. I think it's from Lord of the Rings or something. Then the torso and legs come from Ninjago from some kind of accessory pack. I don't know Ninjago well enough. Don't remember the character's name, but this is an interactive video. So drop a comment and let us all know. We do see a whole bunch of scrolls at one point, so with that being said, we of course will use Talos from the Captain Marvel sets. Doesn't get any easier than that. What If has gone off the rails with giving us Howard the Duck over and over again, so here he is 
to build Howard the Duck, I used some white hands with the arms from Captain Hook from the Lego Disney Collectible Minifigure Series 1. The torso is from the clown from the Collectible Minifigure Series. Of course, I used the uh, head and tail piece from any of the nephews from the Lego Disney Collectible Minifigure Series. Then I gave him some short red... Well, that. I gave him some short red legs to round out the figure. Man, I'm talking too fast. Here we have the Grandmaster and Topaz, who's kind of like his friend. She was in Thor Ragnarok, so kind of cool to see her pop up again. But to build the Grandmaster, I used the head, torso, and legs from the official Grandmaster figure. I gave him one arm from the Genie from Aladdin from the Lego Disney Collectible Minifigure Series 1. And the hair that I used is actually the Doctor's hair from Doctor Who. I like that it's got that receding hairline. Just looks really good for the character. Then hopping over to Topaz, I used the legs from the Fox character from the Lego Collectible Minifigure Series costume character. Then I used the torso from Fred Flintstone flipped around with black arms and orange hands. I used Padme's hair, and the face is from Kristen Wiig's character from the 2016 Ghostbusters. I only saw that movie once, and I don't remember anybody's name from it, so yeah, that's that. Much like Howard the Duck, it's been really nice to see Nebula show up in so many of these different episodes. At least it feels like she's been in a lot of them. Anyways, I used the 2014 Nebula head and torso, and I just put the legs on from Catwoman from the Lego Batman movie. Just a little extra added detail that makes the figure look that much better. Later in the episode, we get to see Korg show up. That's really nice. And Meek shows up too with his like robotic arm suit, but I haven't figured out how I want to build that now that we have an official Meek character. Anyways, with that being said, uh, to build Korg, I used these legs from the barista from the Lego, uh, I think it's from the Lego movie, actually. I'm not 100% sure. I just know it's from a barista character. This torso is from the stone characters from the uh, Lego Nexo Knights theme. I have some dark blue hands on there, but you can find hands that match. I used this neck armor piece from Ninjago, and then, of course, the head and head piece come from Korg from the Infinity Saga Thor's uh, new Asgard set. It seems like so far Drax just keeps showing up as a bartender or somebody that drinks. But anyways, Drax was in this episode, so to fill him in for this showcase, I just went ahead and used the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 version of Drax. We do get a little screen time with Valkyrie, so I used the 2021 version of Valkyrie. No changes, just a pretty great figure in and of itself. So no need to change up perfection. We get to see Rocket Raccoon for the first time in What If, and he's sleeping in a sink in uh, their apartment or, I guess, hotel in Vegas, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, I used the uh, tail and head from Rocket from the Infinity Saga wave since, you know, he's brown in this episode. Works pretty well. I used some brown arms on the legs and torso from 2014 Rocket to round out the whole thing. It looks really great, actually. Brock Rumlow, who, of course, in the main MCU timeline becomes Crossbones, and uh, Maria Hill show up around the same time, beating on the door of the hotel. So to build these two characters, I just used Maria Hill from the Helicarrier set, since it's pretty much perfect to what she looked like in the episode. And for Rumlow, I used the torso from Crossbones because, well, I just think it's a cool little Easter egg. Black legs, the arms from Ethan Hunt from Lego Mission Impossible, with black hands, the face from Bucky from the what it well not necessarily what if it's just from the marvel collectible minifigure series and some spiky black hair man i'm filming this late at night can you tell i'm starting to lose my train of thought we see nick fury for a few seconds before korg just kind of bashes him away to uh get hurt i guess which is why maria hill steps in as acting director but this is the nick fury from the helicarrier since it's most accurate to you know this era of what fury would be wearing in the mcu and this episode gives us a little more screen time with Agent Coulson, so you guessed it, I just used the regular old Agent Coulson minifigure. To me, it's always interesting to see Captain Marvel show up in these shows, so to build a better Captain Marvel, or at least to build a Captain Marvel for this showcase, I used the legs from the Spider-Man Far From Home or uh, the Spider-Man From Homecoming, just to get the blue on top, red on bottom boots there. The torso and head are from Captain Marvel from her own movie sets. And then, of course, this hair is just some long blonde hair because her hair is definitely blonde in this episode. It's not kind of that off blonde that's on the official minifigure. 
Remember earlier in the video when I said there would be some really difficult customs to make for this? This is one of those. Of course, this is Frost Giant Loki. So drop a comment and let me know what you like about this figure, what you might change if you were to build it. But anyways, what we've got going on here is these are the legs from the Atlantean Soldier from the Lego Justice League movie set, uh, the Atlantis set. The torso is actually the unicorn girl from the collectible minifigure series flipped around so it's a little more basic. Not a lot of uh, bare-chested blue torsos, so, you know, kind of had to go with what we had. The shoulder accessory here are some, uh, it's just a pauldron. It's like a gold pauldron. I don't know if that's, like, plural or not. I honestly don't know, but this face is from the Lego Build a Minifigure station. Uh, I saw that at my Lego store a long time ago and thought, you know what? I'm gonna pick up that head. You never know when you may need it, and it came in handy this time. Not a lot of male faces that are blue for Lego, so I thought that worked out pretty well. Then the hair is from, like, Disney princesses or friends or something like that. If anybody knows specifically, drop a comment and let me know, but Loki's basically a Disney princess so I thought that worked out pretty well. I've always been pretty proud of my Surger custom. I mean I know he's not like as big as a building like he is in the movies and in this case this episode but I do like the figure a lot. To build the figure I used this flame headpiece and the head from a character I think his name is like Flama or Blazer or something I don't remember but he's from Ultra Agents. Then moving down, I think that this piece is from, uh, like, Nexo Knights or something. And then the body is from one of the demon characters, or I guess the only demon character from the 2016 Ghostbusters set. So, a lot of unique pieces here, but I do think it works pretty well to build a Lego minifigure version of Surger. Sprinkled a couple times throughout the episode, we get to see Yondu and Mantis. So this is just the basic Yondu figure. For a while, I had been using just like a smaller mohawk on him, but somehow I lost that piece between the last time I used it and now. So I'm just using what you see here. Then for Mantis, this is a custom minifigure I featured a lot on my channel. Of course, the head and hair and torso are from Mantis herself. The uh, arms and actually the skirt piece come from the Lego Batman movie version of Poison Ivy. You'll need to use the eraser method to get the printing off of the arms. And then I folded the skirt so that you actually can see the front. And the legs are from the Lego Ninjago movie version of Lloyd. And last but not least, a nice little surprise for you here is Meek. So to build Meek, I used this body from the robots from Nexo Knights, the little bot guys that run around. On the torso, there's a stud sticking outward, so I used a one-by-one one kind of magenta piece with a, uh, like, cheese slope here that's the same color as Meek's head, so it kind of looks like his bean-shaped body, and then, of course, I put some knives in his hands, and I think it worked out pretty well. So let's zoom out, and I'll give you my final thoughts on this showcase. We did get a little tease for a villain coming, so I'm not going to show you the custom until we get more photos and, you know, screen time, but yeah, I do know that there's a big villain on the way. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit like and subscribe down below and check out my other Lego videos. I post just about every day, so there's gonna be a little something for everybody. Thanks again for hanging out with me, and I'll see you guys next time. Well, you've made it to the end of the video. You should hit like and subscribe down below for more Lego content from me because I post just about every single day. You'll be up to date on all the latest in Lego, so why not join my community and hit subscribe now?